Yo, what up, man? <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna have to um, scour these Twitter Twitter streets <laughs> a little more often as I get deeper into this um uh, this content creator stuff or whatever. Um, because you know it gives you great topics to talk about. You know, random shit. So second day in a row, um, uh, I ran into something extremely interesting. Apparently, there's something going on called the Cucumber Challenge. And as usual, um, this is going to segue into my major point. I was going to make a video earlier saying how women, you destroy love, right? You'll come out and say, well, how could you say that? How could you put, you know, love being destroyed on women and, you know, so, well, well, cucumber camp challenges is a perfect example of this. <clears throat> you as a woman who are willing to perform a sexual act on a cucumber and advertise to the world your um, uh, sexual abilities, you know, because you're re reenacting fellatio, that disqualifies you as a serious, like, long term relationship for most men, right? For, for most men, especially when you put it, you're, you're crazy enough to put it on the internet, okay? Every man say, oh, you know, I don't mind a woman. Look, look, man. These feminist ideologies that are telling y'all you can do what you want, it's screwing you over, okay? This Me Too shit got it to where these dudes aren't hiring you and women, and they're showing a decline in the numbers as far as, like, you know, women um, are getting promotions and, and hirings and all these things. The whole <laughs> Like, these dudes don't want nothing to do with you. You know what i They brought up Keanu Reeves. He's trying to make sure, hey, bitch, I'm not even touching you. Dudes are stepping back, and it's gonna get to the point of where, like I said, these sex robots and these things, that's gonna be like a real option for guys here soon, man. And they're gonna choose them over you because it's less risk with the fucking robot. And when you reduce yourself to sex, that's what, you, that's what you females will understand. When you do what you want, you follow these feminist ideologies that you can dress like however you want, you can go out here <clears throat> damn near naked. Um, or nowadays the whole thing is like your these see through shirts with your with your breasts exposed, you know, and you know, no dude's supposed to even look at you. That's dumb. Okay. <clears throat> That's illogical and it's against everything that nature has set up for to happen. No matter how all these different agendas and this progressive bullshit goes along, bro, it will never override science scientifically all right your body and there are certain areas and parts of your body that naturally sexually attract and arouse a man it's going to get his attention okay they have a fucking um uh they have a um documentary about this thing i'm gonna try to put it in the description box if they haven't deleted it i keep uh i don't think they deleted it so i said we need to link it to the um description box but either way your lips your breasts course your your genital areas um your your um your your your, your ass okay <clears throat> um uh, all those things are natural sexual cues for a man okay what this feminist doctrine has told you is that a man is supposed to somehow overcome those natural primal instinct things of you showing off your body. Now, am I saying a man has the right to touch you? Or no, I am not saying that. But to say a man should not even be attracted to you once you expose those things or you um, accentuate those things, okay? Or you 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 bring more attention to them. That's unrealistic, okay? Oh, you're not, eat your lips. Also, I forgot your lips. These these lips, not the. Okay, but either way, this cucumber challenge again is is a microcosm of the example of why we're having this divide of between men and women, and men are no longer approaching women the way they were. Men aren't looking for long term relationships. Men aren't looking for marriage because the man determines marriage. Okay, because every woman wants to get married, and no dude for the most part <laughs> wants to get married. The ultimate goal in, or the ultimate um uh, the ultimate accomplishment in the in the life of any woman is for a man 
and not just any man, but especially like a man of means, a man that has something that's going from going for itself, is to marry you. That's to let him know pretty much in this American society and this where you're monogamous, he's gonna be with you, he's gonna give you his name, he's gonna do all these things, he's gonna provide you, protect you, he's gonna give up and get out of the game for you. All right? What you guys did was, again, you let this fucking feminist ideology come along and tell you, oh, your marriage doesn't validate you, a man doesn't validate you, when, again, you can look and see, okay, Lala Anthony. No one cares about Lala unless they, and she's naturally connected to Carmelo, okay? Um, uh, Jeff Bezos' wife just got one of the biggest things. Nobody knew who the hell she was if she wasn't married to Jeff Bezos. You were to say her name... It probably wouldn't even register. The whole Bezos thing might come up, but you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, a powerful man is going to always override the woman, right? And even in some cases where the woman has the power, the, the man is more popular because that's the man, and the man dominates dominates the marriage. He's supposed to be in control of the marriage, okay? But either way, I don't want to get too far off in the weeds. Um, it's up to you guys, okay? To understand that doing what you want when you want how you want is going to screw you over in the long run women are emotional creatures and if you give them the freedom to choose nine times out of ten they're gonna choose wrong all right because they're of the moment creatures they're extremely emotional people extremely emotional beings so if and when they're provided with a chance to run free and, and, and be rambunctious and make all the fucking choice, bad choices they want to make, they're going to do it. All right. And this is what, how the women have destroyed it because what you're doing is you're passing down those traits and telling these younger women the same thing instead of, you know, drawing it back and saying, Oh, wait, 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 wait. Realize what's going on here. Okay. Why do I care? Because I have a daughter. Right, and if every man looks at women as hoes, that's gonna make it harder on her. And that's what I don't think you guys are understanding. The more and more these guys are inundated with these cucumber challenges and these females getting over on men in court system and, and you know, you being married or whatever, and you really caring about these females and then she going to court demanding a divorce, taking a man's kids claiming there was fucking um, physical abuse or sexual abuse or some type of abuse when there never was any. Just for the sake of winning, men are going to fix that shit by not participating. They're going to vote with their feet and they're going to move the fuck on. All right? They're going to stop looking, at you, looking to you females to get married and they're just going to have sex with you. They're going to dump, dump some penis off in you, say, hey, that was a great thing, so on and so forth. But, um, uh, yeah, I'm good. And, the, and the, the way that the birth rate is going down, too, even these dudes now are getting hip to um, uh, the whole baby mama um, uh, hustle. So they're not even dumping off on you raw or to the point where you can get pregnant. They're just having so so there's no repercussions. That's going down, too. And, you know, I credit all the men out here. It's a red pill, MGTOW movement of um, uh, educating these young brothers, you know, these young men, so they so they so they know and understand the fucking the the extremely <laughs> extremely diabolical and 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 conniving ways of females out here, bro. All right? Is that all women? No, but is it a, a, enough of them for it to be a major problem? And these dudes need to be put up on game. It definitely, most certainly is. Um. Just Google, or uh, not Google, go to Twitter and put in cu cucumber ch challenge, bro. And see what these females are out here doing. All right? Would you, ladies, think about this. Would you expect to be taken serious after I fucking came upon you? You know, I ran up on you. And somehow, you know, I go on your Twitter feed. I follow you on Twitter or Facebook or whatever it may be. Or Instagram. And find you doing a cucumber kick challenge. No, if I did have some type of respect to you, I just lost it. And now you're regulated to a hoe. Nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. You're going to have that one dude that's, that's you know, extremely forgiving and extremely liberal as far as a woman's sexuality or, you know, um, a.k.a. a simp um, out there that's not going to mind it. But any man worth anything, bro, I don't, I don't want anybody to know 
that I took you serious as the fact that you you've molested a vegetable <laughs> for the world for attention okay you were willing to defile yourself and degrade yourself for attention not for payment because at least hoes get paid porn stars get paid they get paid a fee all right you did this for clicks and likes that are free and like i said again it goes back to what i told you all these hashtags and things bro they're they're social engineering experiments somebody starts it up out random and they just see how easy it is to fucking control the sheep and bro you'll see this shit and you'll just bro you you your jaw will drop no pun intended but it'll just it's, it's astonishing to see and these are adults okay these are adults Lo and behold, before you know it, I'm pretty sure it's going to probably end up being uh, um, uh, some story about somebody that fucking choked to death and died from the cucumber challenge. I'm not wishing that, but if I was a bed man, watch what I say. Or well, at least somebody going to the hospital, if not dying. Okay, because they, they, they send in a fucking thing and they doing the cucumber challenge and somehow that shit gets lodged in their throat. They can't get it out and they ask either pass the fuck out and die or they, they fucking... Some crazy shit happens, man. But, hey, this is the society we live in, bro. The females got to stop fucking hungering for attention, bro, and um, uh, start understanding how a man thinks. When you have a man come out and tell you, hey, this is what it is, you need, instead of fucking trying to listen to this bullshit-ass feminism, feminism and these feminists and these women that have no understanding, and they really do hate men. That's the thing about it. Fem most feminists hate men. You know, be it they had some type of trauma early on in their life or so on and so forth, or they have a, a serious fucking case of penis envy and they want to, um, they, they see men as a, as a threat to their power. They're not going to tell you the truth. They're going to skew the, the narrative and the understanding to keep you just thinking it's cool for you to do whatever the fuck you want. Me and other men like me, we're going to tell you the truth because men care about women men really do care about women nobody wants to grow old alone man every man is eventually gonna fucking find a woman that he's willing to hang his jersey up for whether it be like a, you know state state excuse me a state sanctioned marriage an official marriage or you just settle down with somebody you guys grow old together live your life together even a lot of a lot of time now a lot of dudes are doing and people are doing the spiritual route because you know marriage itself is, a, is, is nothing but a, a scam for a man bro you know that shit is that shit is the ultimate that shit is, shit is the ultimate fucking um uh <laughs> sacrifice for a man. The woman has all the power, bro. She can pick up and say, uh, hey, I don't wanna do this no more and get leave with half your shit. Okay? So women, um, I highly doubt you guys are gonna, you know, go to these courts and these states and even the the country on a national level and, and ask them to change these these fucked up uh, policies. Which extremely um, uh, are extremely biased to men, you know, the family court system, divorce court system, all these type things, you know, and these, these men are, are um, you know, getting raked over the coals. But at the very least, man, you can you can try and be a, a respectable woman, okay, a respectable young lady, and not be on the fucking internet sucking dicks, all right? <laughs> that's what, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing without without doing it. And again, what makes it sadder is you're doing it for free. All right? Even these thought chicks that, that have got these cam girls, at least they're doing it for a profit. Okay? The two hoes out here just fucking doing a hashtag? Come on, bro. Come on, man. You're, you're dooming yourself. You're regulating yourself to a... A, at least a long time period of whoredom, okay? That's what you're gonna do. Every dude's gonna approach you, he's gonna definitely admit, like, damn, girl, I saw you did with that cucumber, it was good. All right? Is, is that the type of attention you want? Seriously. And again, why why do we have to tell this to grown ass women, bro? But again, this is the current society, bro. Everybody wants to go along and become famous off of fucking some internet bullshit. But. That's that on that, man, and I'll catch you on the next one.